everybody. I'm Diana Blast with Light Reading's Insider Guide here at Mobile World Congress. I'm here with Intel's Dan Rodriguez. Thanks for your time today. That's great to be here. Well, we have a lot of great things to talk about as it relates to 5G, VRAN, and of course, AI. It's hard to go to any Absolutely. conference without talking about AI, right? Yes. <laughs> well, let's start with your 5G core that you're driving more power efficiency and much more into. Tell us more. Absolutely. We've been working with the telecommunications service providers for well over a decade and the entire ecosystem that supports them. And in that journey, we've been driving to modernize the network, to drive more scale, agility, and just greater levels of TCO. And then most recently, we're also seeing a big push for sustainability efforts, so energy is a key concern for, for telecommunications service providers as well. And we're super excited that we've, we're previewing our next generation Xeon processor, codenamed Sierra Forest. Now that is utilizes our efficiency cores and it has up to 288 88 cores available. So we're very excited about this. And what this does is it allows operators to improve their overall performance per rack by up to 2.7x. So it should be very significant for operators. Now, in addition to this, we've also made great progress on our infrastructure power manager. Because we all know that when you look at energy costs, it, as, as a, looking at overall service providers, uh, overall TCO and their spending, energy costs are quite high. So it's really quite critical that we do everything we can to drive power down in the platform. And at this event this year, we have innovated and we have partners like Nokia that are now commercializing infrastructure power manager and they're showcasing a 40% power savings improvement. So very excited about that. You know, Sarah, Sarah Forest and IPM are going to deliver great results for our customers. Well, let's now move to the virtual RAN innovations that you're doing. How are you uh, improving the efficiency in that area of the network? Yeah, so last year at this show, we introduced our fourth gen Xeon scalable processor with VRAN Boost. And I'm really excited about to see all the customer momentum out there. That product is a very strong success. But now we've actually previewed our future gen processor, codenamed Grand Rapids D, and this product is packed with innovations. And I'm very excited that two of our key partners, both Samsung and Ericsson, have already placed calls on this platform. Wow. Well, of course, as I mentioned, a lot of talk about AI. So how is Intel driving more AI into both the VRAN and the 5G core to just drive more efficiency? Yeah, AI, it is the talk of this show. AI is the buzz of every industry and telcos are, are very excited about it as well. And I think telecommunication service providers are looking at how do they take advantage of AI within their RAN platform to be able to drive you know, better TCO, so help them with network efficiency, but also help them generate uh, new revenue streams. So it's kind of both make money as well as, as save money. And what we've done at this show is we've introduced our new VRAN AI development kit, and this is packed with all sorts of capabilities to help operators deploy v AI in VRAN in their existing footprint. And the edge, of course, is where everybody wants to innovate. So how are we driving more AI into edge and edge applications? Yeah, lots of excitement at the edge. Everyone's looking at how they can digitally transform their infrastructure. And I do believe AI is going to play a big role in accelerating that and just helping with that digital transformation. And Intel, we've been innovating with the industry for a very long time. With our partners, we have over 90,000 edge deployments spanning over 200 million processors over a 10 year period. So a, lot, a big installed base there. And we're leveraging our extensive experience to be able to introduce our new Intel Edge platform that is going to help all sorts of different Edge verticals deploy and manage their Edge infrastructure and also utilize Edge AI in their pursuit to drive more efficiencies, greater level of TCO, as well as just deliver stronger customer experience. Wow. Well, Dan, I knew you had a lot to share from this conference, but I didn't know how much. It sounds like you have a lot of exciting things here at Intel, so thank you Lots for your time. Lots of great things happening here, and thank you for spending <laughs> some time with us. Of course. And for everybody at home interested in learning more, be sure to follow along at Light Reading.